Now, before we have to wrap up, you mentioned Paul Crook, who is a mutual friend of ours and a very talented guy, currently plays in Meatloaf's band and produced Meatloaf's latest record. And he was in Anthrax for a little bit. He played in the uh, the Queen show that Brian May did uh, for a while as well. Super talented guy. And he was living in Vegas. Every time I'd go to Vegas, I would hang with him. And now he's back here in in Jersey. And you guys started doing a band on the side together called Gotham. Right. Well, they had done this years ago with a different singer, him and Scott, and uh, and they wanted to put it back together. Somehow I got involved in it. <laughs> it's, it's just very industrial, you know. Yeah. Well, it's cool. It's Scott Metax is another, you know, super talented guy, an old friend as well, was in the band Prophet. And with, with Paul, you've put together, again, this band called Gotham. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you asked me to come out, and uh, Paul sent me a text. I went out to see the band. And the band was, uh, it was really fun. You did you do mostly like 90s industrial-leaning cover tunes. You're doing Filter and things like that, right? Yep. Uh, we, we do some other more rock stuff, too. We just kind of make it a little more industrial. That's right. You weren't there for the second set. I didn't make set. the second set. I was there for, for the first set. But I didn't know that you guys were going to record, uh, well, kind of original material. <laughs> well, actually, we may still, like, you know, actually do some original material but what we're kind of doing in the meantime is a little mashup of yeah. uh you know taking the old things and making them industrial what so. the kids call today mashups now i want to ed do we i sent you this earlier do you have this ready to go i have it all right you got to listen to this and let's let this go for for a minute or two because this is i i i usually don't like stuff like this but I thought this was really, really cool, and I did not expect it. When when Paul knew you were coming on today and he sent it to me, I was like, what, what am I, it's just going to be like a Rob Zombie cover? I'm, I'm going to play it. And I, was like, <laughs> I listened to it. I'm like, well, this is really cool. So you guys listen to this for a minute and uh, check this out. The band is called Gotham. Mark is the, the singer on it. And uh, you'll, you'll pick up on immediately what's going on here as soon as you get the feel for it. So, Ed, hit this yeah, for us. We, we call this Lead Zombie. Lead Zombie. Yeah, and we get the whole whole lot of love thing in the middle, and it's 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 kind of crazy. It, it works. It works really, really well. Like, and, and it works well live. It's it's great live. And you wouldn't think that, like, when you hear that, you realize how much similar Thunder those songs Kiss are. is of immigrant song. Yeah, that's called what? Led Zombie. Led Zombie. Le- <laughs> The band is called Gotham, and and you got Mark singing on there, and Paul Crook uh, on guitar, Scott Metaxas on bass. Who's playing drums Craig on that? Craig Scapa, and uh, and you guys go out and play stuff like that uh, with this band in in Jersey, and, and we have a lot of fun doing it. It's so. a lot of fun too. You know, the night I came down to see you, I had a it it, it lent hearing all that stuff and and being in that environment, it really lent to me wanting to have a lot of drinks. Yeah, well, that's. <laughs> Just, that seems to be what happens when, we when got, we're around. Well, you get out, I see you see everybody, and you're banging your head, and hey, what's going on? Hey, let me buy you a drink, and the next thing you know. So I had to get, the reason I didn't stay for the second set is I was going to get into deep water if I didn't drive home. I had a 45-minute ride. I was like, I can get there out of here, go. man. But it's a, it's a lot of fun. And well, we, I guess you see what happens with that. Would you want to do a whole record of, of something with those guys? I have no idea. I'm, I'm open to anything, bro, you know. But I don't, <laughs> not like I have a lot of time, though. So. Exactly right. Right, exactly. We just ran down the schedule, and again, if you go to Accept Worldwide, uh, you will see um, you will see the dates all over the place.